My name's Jason Dixon, I'm from a little community town called Burke, New South Wales, situated on the Darling River. Yeah, I belong to um, two distinct um, groups. One is the Nimba people, um, that's my mother's traditional tribe, um, and also on my father's side, the Wonkamara tribe. Um, the Wonkamara tribe, um, so we occupy the, the Channel country throughout pretty hostile country. Around the time of the assimilation, a lot of people got um, removed from their, their countries, taken out on, onto mission settlements such as Brewarana. So um, from Tibberborough, that, that transition for my great-grandmother was from Tibberborough to Brewarana. I've learnt um, a, a lot of the stories just um, from my personal persistence to it. Um, it, it. It wasn't orally taught to me by my great grandmother personally, as I, I've never come to know her, but back in around the 70s, 70, 72 and stuff, they had linguists come out to um, start documenting a lot of the, the language groups that that were around in Burke. Um, I was lucky that my great-grandmother, she was one of the confident ones that, you know, had the, the courage to get up and, and talk openly about the languages. It, it, it's amazing, she'd done 62 um, recordings on all sorts of stuff. Um, it, just for example, naming birds and, and, and uh, plant life, flora and fauna, uh, and putting them into to language. So a lot of our language was descriptive words, like boomerang now. We know it to fly and come back. So in my grandmother's language, in the Wonkamara language, we say pakaranya which is exactly what I just said, fly and come back. And that's where I talk about with, with descriptive words. It, it describes what these instruments or, or medicines or whatever the, the platform may be where you're talking, what they can do for you. So as you'll see with, with this, um, the Paldrathali, to look at it, it's a shield which automatically diverts our thinking to that's a protective mechanism. It's going to protect me if I hold this up. Um, so what Paldratali, just to translate that into English, is cover and protect your meat, which means your body. Um, and that's exactly what it, what it does. So once you hold the Paldratali up, it is now protected all your main and vital organs so that um, you, have a, you have a better chance of survival. We're trying to keep it simple. Um, so again, that there, there is no miscommunication barriers between people. Um, we're not describing one thing in three different sentences, it's just what it is, um, how we say it, and, and that, again, we, we've got to be, um, be mindful of and truthful about and telling everyone because not all Aboriginal tribes were the same. We had different food groups, we had different language groups, we had different spiritual stories and, and understanding. It, it, it's a, more personal to me because it comes from a sacred place in my heart. It, it, it's from my grandmother's language, it's, um, so it, it's home. But hopefully for everybody else out there, it's a, it's a starting point for the questions to begin. 
and for the answers to be delivered in, 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 in that spiritual sense.